March 20th, St. Photinia and her companions martyrs. St. Photinia was the Samaritan woman whom our Lord talked with at the well. Up to that point, she had led a sinful life, one which resulted in a rebuke from Christ. However, she responded to this with genuine repentance and was forgiven her sinful ways and became a convert to the Christian faith, taking the name Photinia at baptism. After baptism, she went on to spread the gospel in many places. When the emperor Nero began to persecute Christians, Photinia and her son Joseph were in Carthage where she was preaching the Christian gospel. Jesus appeared to her in a dream, and she sailed to Rome. Her son and many Christians from Africa accompanied her. Her arrival and activity aroused curiosity in the capital city. Everyone talked about her. Soon, soldiers were ordered to bring her to the emperor. However, before they could arrest her, Botinia with her son Joseph and her friends went to Nero. When the emperor saw them, he asked why they had come. She answered, We have come to teach you to believe in Christ. The half-mad ruler of the Roman Empire did not frighten her. She wanted to convert him. The emperor demanded to know whether they had all agreed to die for the Nazarene. She spoke for them. Yes, for the love of him, we rejoice, and in his name we will gladly die. Hearing the defiant words, Nero ordered their hands beaten with iron rods for three hours. At the end of each hour, another persecutor took up the beating. All the saints, however, felt no pain, and nothing happened to their hands. Perplexed by the Christian's endurance and confidence, Nero ordered the men thrown into jail. He had Photinia and her sisters brought to the golden reception hall in the imperial palace. There, the six women were seated on golden thrones. In front of them stood a large golden table covered with golden coins, jewels, and dresses. The emperor hoped to tempt the women by this display of wealth and luxury. Nero then ordered his daughter Domnina with her slave girls to go speak with the Christian women. Women, he thought, would succeed in persuading their Christian sisters to deny their God. Nero's daughter greeted Photinia graciously, mentioning the name of Christ. On hearing the princess's greeting, the saint thanked God. She then embraced and kissed Domnina. The women talked, but the outcome of the discussion was not what Nero expected. Photinia catechized Nero's daughter and her hundred slave girls and baptized them all. Immediately after baptism, Nero's daughter ordered all the golden jewels on the golden table distributed to the poor of Rome. When Nero heard that his own daughter had been converted, he condemned Photinia and all her companions to death by fire. For seven days the furnace burned, but when the door of the furnace was opened, it had seen that the fire had not harmed the saints. Next the emperor tried to destroy the saints with poison. Photinia offered to be the first to drink it. O king, she said, I will drink the poison first so that you might see the power of my Christ and God. The saints then drank the poison after her. None suffered any ill effects from it. In vain, Nero subjected Photinia, her sisters, sons, and friends to every known torture. The saints survived unscathed to taunt and ridicule their persecutor. For three years they were held in a Roman prison. Photinia transformed it into a house of God. Many Romans came to the prison and were converted and baptized. Finally, the enraged tyrant had all the saints except Photinia beheaded. She was thrown first into a deep, dry well, and then into prison again. She grieved that she was alone, that she had not received the crown of martyrdom together with her five sisters and her two sons. Night and day she prayed for release from this life. One night God appeared to her, made the sign of the cross over her three times. The vision filled her with joy. Many days later, while While she hymned and blessed God, St. Votinia gave up her soul into God's hands. The Samaritan woman conversed with Christ by the well of Jacob. She drank the living water and gained everlasting life and glory.